Hey guys, Chad with Hookup Baits here. Replacement bodies. We're going to go over everything Hookup Baits replacement bodies that you need to know. Alright, so the replacement bodies come in eight different colors. Six of our most popular colors that are sold, but then also a pearl white and then a pearl glow, which are only found in replacement body colors, okay? And then we have small which is designed for the 132 and 116th ounce heads. Medium, which is designed for the 1 8 and 1 quarter. Large, 3 8 5 8 Big game, which is 1 ounce, 1 and a half. This is a white sea bass special, which we'll go over in, in a little bit. Then also our 2 and 3 ounce baits come with one made bait, with a replacement body, three I mean four and six ounce, eight inch bait, one made, one replacement body. Okay, so that's all the replacement bodies that we do here at Hookup Baits. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna go over explain how to properly put in a hookup bait head into a body, and then a couple of tricks you can do with mix matching sizes with different size heads and stuff like that, you know, to try to get the action that you're wanting to, to get out of the bait. And then another trick I'll show you at the end that you can do with the replacement bodies. So, typical way to put in a replacement body, like I said, this is the small 132, 116, um, and this is the 116 head. So the 116 head into the small body is probably the hardest one to do. So we'll start with the hardest one first and then show how easy it is from there. All right, you can either just put a, just a little dab of the Hookup Baits mermaid, Mermaid's Milk into there or put a little dab on the head. Either way works just fine. And then what you're going to want to do is, this is the hardest part right here, it's getting that little, with well, the end of that cut, that plastic over the eye of the hook. That's where most people have problems. So you're going to go all the way to right where the end of that cut is and use these two fingers and push like right where the eyeballs of the lead head, you know, the fish eyeballs, and push and push that plastic up over the eye of the hook. All right, so you can squeeze and push it over. Right there. Once you get that eye of the hook in there, it's, it's money then. You're, it's easy to go. So you're going to just keep on feeding that plastic by doing that pinch and roll the plastic over the eye of the hook until the head of the jig is all the way to the very end, right? You can't go no more. And the other thing you're going to do is center that hook with the cut of the bait, okay? So you're going to want that cut facing straight up, that, that center cut of the bait facing straight up, and then when you f face that center cut straight up, that hook should be straight up. It shouldn't be leaning left or right. So right there, it's just slightly leaning a little bit to the side there, so you just twist the body. All right, cut of the bait straight up, hook straight up. That's what you want. Once you have that, you're gonna use this pinch. Put the eye of the hook between your fingers right there and just pinch. Super simple. All right, that bait's done. Ready to fish, you're ready to go. All right, so it's pretty much the same. I started with, like I said, the hardest one to do. It just gets easier as the bait gets bigger, <laughs> right? So the same, same uh, procedure, same technique, just with the bigger baits. Okay, we'll go all the way to the extreme other side. One and a half head, big game bait. Okay, you know here I'll do this one on the head here. You can just do right on the eyeball, little dab. That's all you need. And just go right to right where the end of that cut is kind of spread it around and there it is again okay so here's the bigger start right here and you're gonna push like that all right so here you see how that builds up over the hook all right now it's done pretty easy all right all the way to the end right there see how that is see the cut that needs to be facing exactly straight up and then that hook needs to be straight up. I'll show you how it's wrong. So if you put that in, 
see that that's the cut straight up see how the hook is leaning to the side that's wrong that bait is not going to work right like that or if it's off to this side it's not going to work right like that hook cut straight up hook not leaning to either side see that that's the most important part right there as long as that hook is straight up and the cut is straight up you're good to go pinch that eye through like that super simple you're ready to fish well you see that the baits the replacement bodies are colored different the standard baits they're colored all the way over, over the nose replacement baits they're colored up to around the eye of the hook it's going to be either right at it or a little before and a little behind it so the right in this area is where the color is going to stop and that makes it so the eyeball shows kind of gives it a flashy head a little different look than the original baits which is kind of cool too so that's that's how the replacement bodies work okay so pretty standard that's how you use the replacement bodies comes in a pack of five save you some money um, and especially for traveling you know you can just bring buy a, a few packs of the made baits and then bring a bunch of replacement baits so you're not over limit weight limit getting onto your airplane or something like that so I, mean, I do a lot of replacement bodies when I do my traveling save you a lot of weight okay so here's the trick things you can do with a replacement body and I do a lot of this so like I said the baits are kind of made for that size head okay so the standard bait let's, let's go with the three the three inch baits basically the small baits are really only made for the 32nd and the 116 you can't really do anything more with those but from the medium the large big games you can almost interchange most of these heads with the baits depending on if you want a slow sink slow glide and then work the bait very slow or you want a fast sink to work the bait fast okay and then that goes with basic more plastic less lead slower you're going to work the bait slower it's going to sink more lead less plastic the faster it's going to sink the faster you can work that bait okay that's kind of the rule of thumb so the medium baits are really made for the quarter ounce head that's what that bait is designed for that head that's where it's going to have its medium range of sink and, and retrieve speed okay but if you put this eighth ounce head into this body here right and like I said when you're doing a small head into a big body those are super easy I mean it's just it goes on pretty easy all right so see how the head's pretty small for the size of the body so that's gonna have a really slow sink to it and you're gonna be able to work it really slow and it's just you know it's gonna work through the water really slow have a really slow glide okay you put the medium quarter ounce head in there it's gonna have in, in between, but now if you put the 3 8 head into that quarter size body or the medium size body, now you're gonna be able to work that bait faster. You're gonna be, it's gonna have a faster sink. You're gonna retrieve it faster. You can work an area faster with it. So I do this a lot if I'm just trying to locate fish, I'll put the bigger head and the smaller bait so I can just work an area faster. Once I locate, okay, the, the fish are hanging in this area, then I'll go to the quarter ounce so I can work that spot a little bit slower. Then if it's even uh, even shallower spot where I want to work it even more slower, then I'll go with the eighth hit, okay? So you can do that all the way through with all the bodies. The large body does, the, like I said, it's made for the three eighths and five eighths, but then also you can do the one ounce big games. This is basically our, our bullet line. You know, we have our bullets. That's basically a large four inch body with a one ounce and one and a half ounce big game hook a lot of people like to use that one and a half for rock fishing because more lead less plastic sinks fast but then you have a smaller profile bait down there that gets eaten really fast by all sizes of rock fish okay so that's the same thing one ounce head large body yeah all right I have a little bit of lube in there but i'll show you again just a dab there right there that's the important part squeeze the eyes and push it over the hook once you're there pretty easy all the way forward line it up right there's where it needs to be pop it through all right 
So, like I said, the large will do from three eighths all the way to one and a half will fit in the large body. Now the big game will do, you can put, it's because where the, the cut stops in the big game, it has to have the big game hook in it. If you try to put a five eighths into a big game, see, it's not cut that far. The cut stops right there. See, the hook's right there. So it's not cut long enough to do a five eighths. But we have a five eighths white sea bass special. WSB special. We make them in three different colors. This will go into a big game. We just came out with the pearl um, WSB special. That's in a big game body. Okay. And then we have WSB in um, mint, and we have WSB in red crab. All come with this. So it's a five eighths head, but it has the big game hook on it. So if you put this big game or the WSB in a big game body. This works really great for fishing like boiler rocks, up, you know, if you're fishing the wall, where you want a big bait that's gonna do a really slow glide and you can work it real slow over the, the weeds and the rocks and that kind of stuff. That's the WSB head in a big game body, okay? So that's if you want a five inch bait that you can work slow, you do that. And then the one ounce will be the middle range and then the one and a half, if you want a far cast, if you're fishing deeper water, you know, 150 feet, 200 feet, you can fish down with that one and a half. Same thing with the eyeballs, push it over the eye of the hook, slide it forward, and all the, and all the, the holes should already be there. It'll line up. Now you're to that. So it's very easy. You see how quick that is? I can switch this out to that head in a matter of seconds. Okay? And so you can get the action you want out of the bait just by changing the lead heads, the length of the bait, and uh, the, the weight of the head, you, that kind of thing. You can mix, mix and match through all those to get the action you want. Um, and I do a lot of that with my spotted bay bass fishing, depending on what part of the bay, that I, bay I am and how fast the current is. Um, if I'm fishing above grass or no grass, I switch heads and bodies to most effectively fish whatever area I'm fishing, okay? So you can do that with the baits, work very well. One other thing you can do with these replacement bodies, and this is popular with the freshwater bass guys, especially because I've had great success on this medium brown. We have the medium brown replacement bodies. Using it as a fluke or a topwater. You're gonna get the owner, two watt, all purpose, soft bait hook which is, you know, the offset Texas rig type hook. No weight, just make sure you're holding it. This is the, the colored side is the top, uncolored side is the bottom. So you can go right in the nose of the bait, right here. With the color on top, so you're gonna come out the bottom, just go in like a quarter of, quarter of an inch, come out the bottom. And you're gonna have this tied onto your rod already. So just tie on the hook, just tie it on so you have your knot here already and you got line on there. Because I like to slide that up over the knot so your knot's actually inside your bait. So that's where you're gonna go with that. So your knot's gonna be here, kinda helps the bait from sliding out with that eye of the hook, from sliding forward. And then what I would like to do, is I kinda like, okay, it's gonna sit just like that, right? That's where you want, what's how you want that bait sitting weedless. So I'll put my tip my thumb right where I want that hook to go through the bait. See it right there? So I put my thumb right there, turn it over and just put the hook through right between the colors. You want the color right in the middle between the colors, right at the tip of your thumb. And that's how the easiest way to line that up, pop it through. And then that hook should sit right in the top of the slot right there. Really good weedless weightless um, does a really good action when you jig across the water it's going to do like that fluke action doing this kind of thing you can feel it with the scent put it in there add a little color to it now you got scent coming out of your fluke and the, the glitter that's in the in the scent with the little glitter trail sink out of that and you know, when you stop jigging it it'll just sink slowly sink down so it's really effective above weed beds and if a frog and I fished with a guy where he was doing a frog, I was doing this. I caught a lot more fish than he did. <laughs> so I'm just throwing this instead of a frog. So very effective. 
A uh, trick that a lot of people don't know, but the ones that do know have been using it pretty successfully for a few years, okay? Another thing you can do with replace, replacement bodies. So, I think I covered everything you need to know about a hookup baits replacement body. Save you money, save you weight when you go on a plane, on travel trips, but then also changing the weights. You can fish them fast with less lead, more plastic. No, you can fish them fast with more lead, less plastic, or fish it slow, more plastic, less lead. All right? And that's how you do the hookup baits. And that's the, you know, gives you more versatility. Already super versatile bait. This, knowing this gives you even more versatility. Okay? Hope this helps, guys.